What to know about college apps. So you wanted to know what students should do for college applications. We did have a college night, senior application night in September, so many students did attend that. Um, if they didn't attend that, they were able to go on YouTube and get some information. But lots and lots um, of help is available on Naviance, and they all should know about Naviance, which everybody has a code to get into Naviance. And you can do anything on Naviance from college searches, college information, scholarships, financial aid. That's how you actually apply via Naviance. You're actually adding your schools to Naviance, and then you request transfers through Naviance, but you also fill out a blue sheet for us, and then we send everything through Naviance. Teacher recommendations, everything is done through Naviance. Are teacher recommendations important? So you asked about teacher recommendations. Very important teacher recommendations and counselor recommendations. We are seeing this year, though, that there are several schools not asking for recommendations. So we can tell you, we can look on Naviance, and it will tell you what the school requires. Some of them require nothing. Some of them require counselor recommendation. No teacher, some of them require a teacher, no counselor, some of them require one teacher recommendation, two teacher recommendation. They are important and it's also important for you to think about really the teacher you want to ask. Um, and you might not always want to ask the teacher that you got the A pluses in because sometimes you want to ask a teacher that you struggled in because you showed perseverance. Um, we also ask you to ask a teacher that may be related to what you're going into. So you wanna be a math teacher, you might wanna ask a math teacher. Uh, you wanna go into coaching, you might wanna ask you know, one of your coaches. Um, things like that, things that might be related. And then we also ask you to, you also, you recommend, you ask for your teacher on Naviance, and then we also ask you to speak to your teacher about some of the things that they might like to incorporate into your letter of recommendation. What to know about scholarships and financial aid? Okay, scholarships and financial aid, a big, big, big thing. First of all, we have a financial aid night coming up soon. Okay, that's gonna be in November. Check the website, very important. All students need to fill out a FAFSA, or their parents cannot fill out the FAFSA until January 1st because it has to include your entire information from 2015. And that's it's on the, it's right in the website. It's very simple to fill out, um, but you must, must, must fill out the FAFSA. And what they'll do is they'll determine by what you put in on the FAFSA, how much you contribute to your education, and then they'll take their college tuition and they'll say, okay, well, you can contribute, your expected family contribution is $8,000. Our tuition is $30,000. So we have to come up with $22,000 so you can come here to our school. So then they'll put together a financial aid package, which might be loans, grants, work study, things like that. So that's how, um, how the financial aid form works. Aside from that, though, you need to do some research on scholarships. Again, going to Naviance. If you go on to Naviance, there's two sites you need to look at. One, as soon as you log on to Naviance, there's a section right on the right-hand side, and it says scholarships. If you click on that, it gives you about 15 search engines. You can get on those search engines and find tons of information. And then you can also go to where it says colleges I'm applying to. On the bottom of that, there's a thing called scholarship list. There's lots and lots of scholarships that are available um, that our secretary here in the Career Center gets and she posts them. You can click right on there and go right to the website and apply that way. In January, everyone's gonna get local scholarships. You all need to fill that out. And those are from organizations like the Brandsville Businessmen's Association, the Brandsville Rotary, the Walk Hill Valley Rotary, all local organizations that give our kids money. If you get money from that, you will attend a very special dinner in May at Crystal Springs and you'll receive your scholarship then. So you have to, like you know, you have to be in it to win it. You have to do that work, but you can get scholarships. Some quick tips. Visiting colleges. You get four free days to visit colleges. You've got to get there. You don't want to buy a pair of pants without trying them on. So you're not going to spend the next four years of your life somewhere you've never visited. You can apply somewhere, but you don't want to attend there if you haven't already um, already visited. You need to know what you're getting into. Uh, apply now. You have until May 1st to decide where you want to go. So apply. Then when you get accepted, you can go and visit. You've got teacher's convention. You've got um, February break. So there's times that you can go visit these schools. And when you're visiting, think about what you want to see. Think about, you know, try the food. It's going to be, that's very important. Where are you going to live? Do you, is it okay that there's a bathroom at the end of the hallway? Do you mind walking down to the end of the hallway? Are there co-ed floors? Or is it, is it just, is it just all girls on my floor? All boys on my floor? Think about that. 
Um, do I want to have a bathroom right in my room? But then I've got to clean that room with the other people that are with me. So there's lots of pros and cons. Do I want to be in a living learning community? These are reasons you have to visit colleges. Kids come and say to me, I went there and I just hated it. Fine. Don't even tell me why you hated it. You hated it. Don't apply there. Or it's like, I just felt right. This was my good apply there. So that's why visiting is so important. Uh, and then you get your financial aid information out. So then you can kind of make an educated guess, uh, educated guess, educated decision. Okay. You don't really want to guess. You want to make an educated decision. Once you get all your information together, then you're able to decide. Okay. I like this one. Food was good. The library was open good hours. I like the dorms. I like their academic program. I like the fact that the kids get employment right after school. They have job fairs. Um, it's not too far away from home. Because you want to think about that too. It's always fun to go to Florida or Hawaii or, or that far away. But then you may think, I'm not going to be able to come home for homecoming. Because that's only for a couple days. I'm not going to be able to take a flight home. So a lot of our students, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, sometimes Virginia, the Carolinas, that's about as far as they like to go, Massachusetts, um, within that four or five, obviously Virginia, the Carolinas, you're getting to those 12 hours, but um, still drivable, but um, more popular are those two, three, four hour radiuses because you're away from home, but if you need to come home for a weekend, it is doable.